So identify the right side and the wrong side. Here is my right side of my sample, okay? So when I sew that um, for the flat steamer, I'm going to wrap it. Actually, I'm sewing on the right side of my fabric, okay? And I can sew it um, like this way, okay? So if you look at this flat steamer, here is a guide. If you can come closer and Here's the guide. This is the guide for matching, for matching the fabric edges, okay? And as a flat steam, um, technically, okay, technically, if you're using flat steamer to, fit, to make a flat lock, you don't need any seam allowance. Technically, you don't need any seam allowance. But based on the practical reasons, I recommend you to uh, keep one eighth of an inch as a seam allowance, okay? So for this sample, it has five eighths inches seam allowance. Technically, I should have already trimmed off, trimmed off half an inch. I only need one eighth of an inch as a seam allowance for flat steamer. Okay, you will see why later. Okay, one assuming, right? <laughs> assuming I cut it one quarter or uh, one half an inch off. That's only that sample only has one eighth of an inch left. Here's a paddle. You use this paddle to lift, lift the press foot, okay? Lift the press foot, okay? And then two fingers insert the fabric in between, okay? In between those two foot. And you want to match the edges, match the edges of the fabric with the guide, okay? With the guide, okay? You don't want to do it like that. That's too low that will give you a little bit gap in the finished product. You want them to match like this, a little bit above the guide point, okay? And place it in. There is a very sharp trimmer here for trimming excessive fabric. You will have the one eighth of an inch extra seam allowance trimmed off at the same time when you are stitching, okay? So place them like that. And now press your foot on the presser and then you can start Oh, you see here, it's cut it, right? Um, I don't want it to be trapped in the sewing process. So I can use my tweezer again to kind of pull it out so it's not getting uh, gathered here. And the monitor this process, okay? If you need it, you can always just uh, make help it to pull it out, okay? But the key is you always want the fabric to overlap a little bit, like one eighth of an inch, okay? We always have that one eighth of an inch fabric trimmed off when you're sewing. And it's important when you sew, you don't want to stretch it too much. Okay, unless there is uneven length, you intentionally want to even out the difference. But for equal length, you don't want to stretch your fabric. You just want to evenly fit them in into the flat lock. Okay. So unfortunately, we have this one set up with the black color. Um, for this one, I don't recommend you to change the color of this, right? You always need to do it as black, uh, just because um, it's too way too much work to change the color and then there might be some problem in the process, okay? So if your project happened to be black, using black fabrics, that would be a good option. Uh, this type of thing is flat. It doesn't cost too much itchiness on the skin, right? Okay. okay. So once you get it closer to the end, just let it go. Let it move on its own. Similar to the serger, you will just let it go and then you will leave a long tail at the end. Okay, it's actually very smooth and easy to work with. Okay. That's the flat log, it's flat on both sides, right side and the wrong side. Okay, doesn't cost too much work, uh, doesn't need too much similar, just a little bit, and it's flat very smooth. But the downside is you it cause a lot of thread. A lot of thread for making that stitch. Okay. 
So the right side of the finished sample should look like this. Okay. Wrong side, it's flat as well. Okay. Okay. So that's the sample for today. Okay. So I really want to uh, 